Bansilal Amritlal College of Agriculture is an imperative component of Anand Agricultural University. Foundation of the institute is based upon exultant inputs by the great personalities like the Iron Man of India, Shri Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. Very learned Shri Kanaiya Lal Manik Lal Munshi and agricultural scientist Dr. M. D. Patel. As a result of such outstanding persons tireless commitment, today's huge complex of AAU has been significantly contributing to the agricultural development and research in the state and at national level at large. The very concept of this initiative to voice the problems of farmers' fraternity and to enable them to progress ahead was brought into being in jail during the movement of independence. In 1915, Mahatma Gandhi returned home after the unbeaten execution of Satyagraha to demolish the distinction between black and white in Africa. To instigate the battle against British in India, Mahatma travelled across the nation and realised that independence could be attained only if villages are awakened and farmers are affluent. Being influenced by Gandhiji's thought of extracting India from economic miseries, Kanaiya Lal Munshi, who was born on December 30, 1887 at Bharuch, dared to dive into the movement of independence. And at the age of 45 in 1932, after being arrested by British, once he was reading Linlithko report on agriculture in the jail of Bijapur. Nation's economy could be revolutionized through agriculture only. And for that, bull-like Nandi and cow-like Kamdhenu are required. Freed from prison, Munshiji's thoughts were backboned by Vallabh Bhai Patel, entitled as Sardar after Kheda Satyagraha. Through certain minor experiments with agriculture at Bardoli before 1937, Sardar was assured that India's economy could be strengthened only through agricultural reforms. Unfortunately, till 1937, in Mumbai state, Pune Agricultural Institute was the only institute for agricultural studies. In today's Gujarat, then, there was no institute for agricultural studies. In the month of August 1937, Shet Sri Mansukh Lal Chagan Lal, a native from Eder, proposed for a generous donation to start an institute for agriculture, cattle breeding, and dairy development. A will was made to donate 50 lakhs out of more than one crore that he could earn through his caliber in business at Mumbai. And ultimately an institute named Krushi Govidya came into existence. On the 24th June 1938, government spared 9 lakh rupees and the task of drafting an outline of the institute was assigned to the trustees of the institute Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel and then Home Minister Shri Kanaiya Lal Munshi. On the 27th of June 1938, on the day of Somvati Amavasya, Munshiji's client, Sheet Shri Munga Lal Goenka, donated 6 lakh rupees to the government for the benevolent cause of enhancing cow breeding, about which he had expressed his wish to Munshiji on the 2nd of February 1938. As a result of this, Munshiji instructed Agricultural Department to find the suitable place for cattle breed improvement along with agricultural studies. In December 1938, 648 acres of land from Pawagad, Sarkhej, Haripura, Adas and Anand was allotted to the institute. But heralds of tough times were heard by then. 
September 1939 was the bang time of Second World War. Men with firm fortitude, without losing courage, started their mission of agricultural development during the Second World War. On the 26th of October 1939, Board of Directors was formed for the Institute and on 30th of October 1939, Sardar was appointed as the first chairman of the board. Sheikh Mansukh Lal Chagan Lal Agricultural Institute was like Denmark's folk school and was inaugurated by Munshiji after his early release from prison due to his illness. Foundation of the school building was laid on the 3rd of August 1941. With tremendous hard work, the school building was ready within only six months. The building of this agricultural school was inaugurated by Sardhar after his release from imprisonment for Satyagraha. That historical day was the 8th of March, 1942. Till the date adding glory and prestige to agricultural university, this building has been a witness of several historical moves and wholehearted hard work of many legendary figures. Munshiji appointed Dr. M.D. Patel as the director and secretary of the institute in 1942. Dedicated and determined expert of agriculture and cattle breeding, Dr. M.D. Patel accumulated various units of the institute like education, research and extension. Meanwhile, Shade Sri Muffat Lal Gagal Bhai conveyed his intense concern to donate 5 lakh rupees for establishing College of Agriculture. Welcoming his wish, Sardar recommended establishing this college at Anand because agricultural school and other facilities were made available over there. But advisory of Governor denied for this donation and later this amount was spent for MG Science College and the Bad. Everyone was against the delay caused in founding the College of Agriculture. In 1946, Sheikh Amrut Lal, after his discussion with elder brother Tribhuvan Das and his friend Dada Saheb Mavlankar, delivered a written proposal for the donation of 5 lakh rupees for the College of Agriculture in the memory of the sad demise of his son Bansi Lal, who passed away at the age of 18 only. Munshi ji had a word with Sardar and finally, Mumbai government accepted the proposal. In addition to that, state government sanctioned annual grant of 15 lakh rupees for non-recurring expense and 2 lakh 40 thousand for recurring expense. And before the end of the year, Mumbai University approved the syllabus for the first year agricultural science. On the day of the 6th of April 1947, Construction of new building for the College of Agriculture was launched propitiously by Sardar and as an emblem of constructive philosophy of Gandhiji, this new college commenced at the School of Agriculture with 110 students on the 15th of May 1947. The dream foreseen by Sardar and Munshiji finally came true. In 1950, after the inadvertent demise of Sardar, on the 31st of January 1952, at inauguration ceremony of this dream project of Sardar, College of Agriculture, Munshiji remembered him with the words that without the courage, aspiration and dedication of Sardar, this dream would have not turned into reality. He stated that Sardar had seen many ups and downs during the gradual establishment of this institute but he was determined to face all the odds and he faced them with all his patience. The elegant building of the institute has been constructed in semicircular shape 
as if five rays of the shining sun spread the celestial light out of which in four rays there are laboratories spacious auditorium is at the center and in the rest there are offices lecture rooms and museums on the 11th of august 1952 all the activities being carried out at school building were transferred to this new building and the day was named as college day after the measurable loss of sardar munshi ji took over the charge as the chairman from his vice chairmanship dr md patel was appointed as the first principal of bansi lal amrut lal college of agriculture and he rendered his services till the 31st of december 1959 during the tenure of dr md patel first president of india dr rajendra prasad visited the institute and till the date this visit has been a treasure of some moments for the institute dr md patel facilitated him with the information regarding various agricultural activities being carried out at the institute dr md patel's contribution in the establishment of dairy science college and veterinary science college was truly innumerable wisconsin university awarded him with degree of dsc doctorate of science for his excellent career On the 7th of December 1981 this great soul departed from his mortal body but his immortal words and memories permanently echo in the premises He used to say carve this truth very well in your mind that agriculture is the originating center of the wealth of the nation do not accept any other occupation except agriculture This institute is ever ready to help you out whenever you face any kind of intricacy in this occupation. To pay tribute to all his work and contribution that he offered to the institute on the 24th of December 1982, Board of Directors of Gujarat Agricultural University has honored him by naming the library at Anand in his memory as Dr. M D Patel Library. During his tenure many great personalities visited the institute and it has enriched the magnificence of the institute worldwide To name a few Kumari Mani Ben Jawahar Lal Nehru C D Deshmukh Gulzari Lal Nanda Rafi Ahmed Kidwai Bhai Kaka A P Jain Governor Shri Hari Krishna Mehtab Yashwant Rai Chauhan Dr Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan Utsav Bhai Parikh Dr Jivraj Mehta Jay Prakash Narayan Maharaja Fateh Singh Rao Gaikwad Balwant Rai Mehta Tribhuvan Das Patel Ganshyam Oza Dinkar Desai Morarji Desai professor kurian dr norman barlog pooja pramukh swami pooja mahant swami pooja sachidanand swami ishwar bhai patel b s hire douglas s minjar dr philford taylor and jagjeevan ram Bansi Lal Amrut Lal College of Agriculture was affiliated to Bombay University from 1947 to 1950 to Gujarat University from 1950 to 1957 and to Sardar Patel University from 1957 to 1972 later under the State Agricultural University Act 1969 From the 1st of June 1972 this institute became an integral part of Gujarat Agricultural University Thereafter from the 1st of May 2004 under the Honorable Gujarat Governments Act number no. 5 of the year 2004 this college turned to be an integral part of Anand Agricultural University 
18 different departments are functioning under the parental body of the institute which has spread the name and fame all across the world in the arenas of education research and extension as well the institute feels proud of the fact that around 8000 graduates 2500 post graduates and phd holders of this prestigious institute being baka alumni have truly widened the splendor of the institute at every corner of the globe by their earnest inputs in the various fields of profession